My name is Rob Smith, and I'm a lead and rhythm guitar, and I guess producer, pest, whatever. Voice of December came about. I was in a band called Last Monday, and uh, due to the fact that I'm a control freak, I drove everybody else in the band crazy, and one day I came to practice and they weren't there anymore. And so I called Tracy, who's a been able to put up with me for a long time and we decided we'll put a band together and literally within like three days we had another band. In 1995 um, a friend of ours was doing a, a logo design for a band called Dark Truth and we kind of told him we wanted some iconic thing or something like a key or something that we could use as a symbol and he created that and um, I figured I've kept it with me. Um, the only band we didn't use it in was Cell 13, but um, every band other than that, we've had that symbol somehow in integrated in our thing. But it's, it's meant to be a key, and it's morphed over the years a little bit. This, this version here is a lot different than the one that's on the Dark Truth thing up there. Yeah, but, the yeah. And on the drum, yeah, that's the original one right there. But, um, that's actually our original drum head. The drum head's been traveling around, too. I just put it on the, whoever's playing drums for us at the moment. I put it on the drum for Um, I'd like to think without, you know, I've never actually seen us, so I don't really know, but I would say uh, we put on a pretty high energy show. We try to do as much presentation as we can with lights or effects or things or anything we can do to create a mood, make it a little different than a standard rock show. I grew up in an era with the big arena bands doing these huge shows. And pretty much, initially when we started together, Tracy and I wrote all the songs together and uh, then presented them to the band, but then we kind of learned that we were kind of getting in the same mode. Every song was kind of sounding the same. So now we just kind of sit in here and if, say, Don plays a drum beat that catches one of our ears, a guitar part will happen and everybody else just kind of throws in and when most of the music is done Tracy will generally pound out a set of lyrics unbelievably fast it's, it's actually scary to watch him do it but um, usually if we decide we're writing a song or something's going it's a song within about 30 minutes we don't take a lot of time to write things or a lot of people would assume with the orchestration and stuff we do that they take a lot of time but we don't we write them very very quickly We can't hear each other on each side of the room. We right. don't. A lot of bands, they have to hear each other on the stage. That's one thing unique about us. Don only hears a click in keyboards. He doesn't hear guitars. He doesn't hear bass except a little bleed through. Um, I can't hear John. John can't hear me. So it's it's kind of unique in that aspect. We're each writing our own version of what we think's going on. And so far, it's been pretty good. Um. Right now, I would probably say seven is my favorite, just because it's the most fun to play. Um, I really like Tracy's lyrics on that. Um, I go through different moods, so if it, you know, depending on my mood. For a long time, I really liked the guest, but we've been putting so much focus on it that I've kind of been a little too close to it since I'm the one doing the recording. To when you've heard it, you know, sixty-five thousand times, it's not as cool as the one you haven't heard that many. Right. Ask me at the end of the CD, and I'll tell you a song we haven't written yet. So I won't like any of them by then. But. Well, you know, like I've said before, nothing really says metal like a chihuahua. Um, there's, you know, people will deny it, but any metalhead would want a chihuahua if they could actually have one. Um, Porky's our head of security, also co-producer on all of our CDs, um, cinematographer for all of our videos. Um, pretty much the pivotal link that holds the whole band together is right here. We just don't want anybody to know that. Um, I think I'd like people to know that uh, we're a really diverse group of people. We, we have some common interests, but we're about as opposite of people as, as you would imagine. No two of us can agree on a song we like or anything like that. Um, but we've made it work because we love the music and we love playing music together. Um, I think it 
it shows a lot that people can learn to be friendly with each other even if they have nothing in common um, just by being tolerant of each other and also I think I'd like people to really read our lyrics um, we don't write traditional songs and I think the the craft of lyric writing has changed a lot from bands like Rush and stuff that wrote actual stories on their songs and, and things and Iron Maiden and stuff yeah. um, nowadays you listen to the radio and every song is about the same few topics and it, it gets old the rehearsing in here is fun because I'm with my best friends and, and you know I get to spend time with guys I really like to hang out with doing what I really love but um, the real payoffs when you get to see a show and somebody comes up and tells you you guys did great or you you know we really enjoyed it or like what you just said there that to me is worth more money or recognition or anything like that doesn't you know we've been doing it long enough not making any money or being recognized that um, you know those moments when you're on a show and somebody comes up and compliments you as a filmmaker and stuff know that you know, if you do something you put your heart and soul into and somebody comes up and says they really liked it that really means way more than money or anything else so we do it for the fans we had a song that we had been constantly just saying we're gonna drop this damn song we're all sick of it it's a song I wrote before he was in the band so the lyrics sucked because he didn't write the lyrics I did and one day we we're getting ready to drop it and we said after the show we're done I don't know if you remember this it's a song called Book of Time and we weren't gonna even play it and people started saying play Book of Time any song, we'll play anything else. But they knew the words to it. And so we ended up keeping it for, you know, much longer than we wanted to. But it was a trip. It's very weird to hear people know something that was personal to you and have a connection with it.